Hi, what's up you guys? This is your girl So with with Brit and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today our tutorial will be about bomber jacket sewing and this is the part 2 of our bomber jacket pattern making and we are finally doing it. Before we start this tutorial, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you are new to this channel, make sure to check out my tutorials for sewing and pattern making. Anyways you guys, get your materials ready and let's get this tutorial started. Let's go! These are the materials that you'll be needing for this tutorial. Patterns for your bomber jacket, nylon fabric, or you can also use duchess or satin, ribbing fabric, fleece fabric for the lining, jacket zipper with metallic coil, tape measure, pattern weights, I'm using stones as pattern weights, tailor's chalk or marker, pins and lots and lots of them and of course your fabric scissors before we proceed to pattern cutting let's first pre-shrink our fabric to avoid the crisp lines when pre-shrinking your fabric make it sure that the direction of pressing is on the crosswise for the pocket. From the top horizontal line, mark down 5 inches and draft another horizontal line to complete the pocket.
and cutting, let's move on to interfacing or interlining. So these are the patterns that I will fuse interfacing with. The yoke, the welt, one piece from the zipper flag, and the insects. For cutting the interfacing, what I do is I place the patterns on the straight grain of my interfacing and cut everything according to the shape of my patterns. Remember that the rough side of the interfacing is the fusible one. It is important to know this because before, I didn't know all of this and I accidentally put my iron on the fuse side. So please take note of that. On the zipper fly, I only fuse one piece because I don't want it to get too bulky when I sew everything. So here is the finished product. I also press the weld and the inset on fold again. And that's it. We are done with the pattern cutting and interfacing. Now we can proceed to sewing all of the pieces of the bomber jacket. Now, we can finally proceed to sewing all of the pieces. First pieces that we're going to sew is the lining and the facing. Front facing and the front lining, back facing and the back lining. First, pin the panels and match the notches and sew it with the half inch of seam allowance. So here's the first side and let's sew the other side. So while pinning the panels together, don't forget to match or align the notches. Again, sew the seams with half inch of allowance. And here is the second side of the front facing and lining. The next thing we are going to do is pressing the seams open. After pressing the seams, let's move on to the back lining. As you guys can see, I put pin mark of one inch and a half on the waist and on the neckline. Because on the middle part of the seam, we will change the tension of the thread. We will later on cut this seam open as a passage when we attach the lining at the self. Again, press the seams open. And we will attach the back facing to the back lining. Match the back facing notch to the back seam of the lining. Pin everything in place. And after pinning, we are ready to sew the back facing to the back lining. Don't forget that the seam allowance for this seam is half inch. So this is the finished seam. But we have to clip the curved seam allowance to make it flat as we press the seam open. So again, let's press the seam open. And here is the front linings with the facings and the back lining and the back facing. Next is, we will attach the shoulder seams together. Pin everything in place and make it sure that the seams are open. Here is a closer look. Okay, so we're ready to sew it. Don't forget to back that, guys. Yeah. 
After sewing, press the seams open and here is the finished product. So for now, we're going to leave the lining like this and we will work on the sleeves later. So now let's move on to the self patterns. So before we remove the front bodice pattern on the fabric, we will first mark the pocket weave. This will help us for the placement of the pockets and the welt. Get your pins and on the pattern still attach on the fabric. Pin the mark of the pocket weave and do it on both sides. So my pocket weave is 6 for 8 inches and I am just marking it. So next, turn the bodice over and mark the first side of the bodice using the tailor's chalk that you have. Mark on where we exactly inserted the pins. After marking the pocket weave on the first side, flip the bodice over and remove the pins that attach the patterns to the fabric. But don't remove the pins on the pocket weave. Next, fold the pattern slightly and again mark the pocket weave, this time on the second side of the bodice. And there you go. Those marks will help us sew the pockets and the belt properly to the jacket. Okay, so moving on to the next step. Attach the welt to the first piece of the pocket pouch and sew it onto 8 inch of allowance. After sewing it on the wrong side of the pocket pouch, mark in 4 8 inch on the sides. And after marking, match the pouch to the width of the pocket on the self. For me, it's 6 4 8. As you guys can see, I pinned the pocket pouch on the self and I'm ready to sew it. Anyways, you guys, if you are new to my channel and if you haven't checked out my tutorials yet, I have a tutorial dedicated to single welt pocket and make it sure to check it out. I will put the link below on the description box. So here are my finished pockets for the jacket. I like how it looks and I am satisfied with the placement. Next, I'm going to attach the inset to the waistband and attach only the inset to the front side of the jacket. And also complete the zipper fly, attach the front jacket to the front yoke, and attach the collar to the self. So here, I'm sewing the insets to the waistbands before sewing it to the jacket. After sewing the inset into the waistband, I am going to press the seams open and I will fold it again and press it. So now, I'm just attaching the inset on the jacket, stopping at the open seam of the inset. And I'm going to do it on both sides of the jacket. Next, I'm completing the zipper fly. And as you guys can see, I'm clipping off the extra seam allowance of the curved seam to lay my zipper flat when I press it. Next is I am attaching now the yoke to the front side of the jacket. After connecting the yoke to the jacket, I top stitch the seam by 2 8 inches. For the collar, I sew the seam on the center back first. Pressed it and folded it, and sewing the seams by 2 8 inches all around. And this is my collar. So moving on, on the jacket neckline, I am marking in 4 8 inches. This is the sewing allowance for the jacket zipper, and I will place my collar exactly on this mark. And now, I can finally pin the collar in place. So now, I'm sewing the collar to the neckline of the jacket by 3 8 inches of same allowance. Matching the center back notches, the shoulder notches. So these are the pieces now. I've already attached the inset, excluding the waistband, the collar, and the front heel. And here's the zipper fly, and I also top stitched the zipper fly by 2 8 inches. 
And here, I have my zipper and I will attach the zippers first before I attach the zipper flag. And also, here, I got my back pattern for my bodice and I'm showing you guys how to pleat it and I am going to attach this first to the back yoke. So here, I've already pinned the pleats in place and I will sew it by 2 8 inches closing all the pleats. After sewing the pleats, I am now pinning the back bodice with pleats to the back yoke and I also made it sure that the notches on the back yoke were aligned to the pleats. Here, I'm just sewing the back bodice to the back yoke by 4 8 inches of seam allowance. Next, I'm going to press the back yoke and top stitch it by 2 8 inches. After that, what I'm going to do next is sew the side seams of the bodice. And of course, I will press the seams open. So moving on to the zipper. First, what I did is I sew a 2 8 inches sewing guideline before I sew the zipper to the jacket. The reason why I made this guideline because I'm going to sew the zipper on the 2 8 inches sewing guideline because I don't want my zipper pull pulling the fabric when I zip my jacket. So I will only sew 2 8 inches of the zipper tape and the rest of the zipper tape will be exposed. And this is the closer look of the zipper attached on the jacket. As you guys can see, I've attached it using my 2 8 inches sewing guideline. And here, I am sewing the zipper on the other side of the jacket. After sewing the zippers, I will now attach the zipper fly on the right side of the jacket. This jacket is unisex, so whichever side I sew the zipper fly, it doesn't really matter. After sewing the zipper fly, I will sew the bottom part of the folded inset to my jacket zipper. So I will fold my inset facing the zipper and I will sew it by 4 8 inches so that it can have a clean finish to my jacket. And now moving on to the waistband ribbing. I will connect first the center back seam of my waistband and connect the folded waistband to avoid moving while sewing it on the jacket. After this, I will now attach the waistband to the self of my jacket by matching the notches on the side seams and on the center back. So as you guys can see, I am pulling with all my might the waistband ribbing while sewing it to the jacket. This will give a gather
So everything by 4 8 inches. So the jacket lining on the zipper line, neckline, and the waistband. And lastly, sew the sleeve lining on the wristband only. And now, as you guys can see, I've attached the lining, but not fully as I left the sleeves lining open. This is the last thing that I will sew. And I will put the sleeves lining inside. Pull it from the passage and pin it in place and sew it. So here's the sleeve lining fully attached on the jacket. Next, I will work on the remaining open seam, like here on my inset. Next, I will press my jacket and top stitch the zipper line going to the neckline to have a clean finish to my jacket. and close the passage on my back lining by hand sewing. Et voila! So this is my finished product. This is my bomber jacket. And I'm really proud and I'm really liking the inside. It's so clean and it's so neat and I like the attachment to the waistband and the pockets are so clean and well finished and I am so happy with the outcome but anyways you guys I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like on me as you guys can see the zipper flies protecting me from zipping up my zipper and I like the pockets and I also have my dog in here <laughs> anyways I'm pulling up the sleeves this can also be a style for your bomber jacket this is the inside and it looks really cool on the inside. It looks clean. And I feel so extra wearing this bomber jacket because I look so cool AF. <laughs> Anyways you guys, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, Sew It With Brit, make it sure to hit that subscribe button and make it sure to hit that bell button as well. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial for circle skirts and of course, skirt styles. Anyways, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!